Hi and welcome. We're here at MWC Barcelona and we're here in this showcase at Huawei to show you some of their really high speed connectivity solutions. And one of these solutions they've launched here at MWC 2023, it's Alps WDM. And this allows them to provide high speed connectivity pretty much anywhere. Something that I think is really cool that this sort of higher speed uh, network allows to happen is if you remember years ago the advertising hoardings at football matches they used to be pasted on then a bit later on they went digital so they were like screens and, and you could put different others but now they've gone one step further where you can render real-time adverts onto those hoardings in the cloud so if you're showing that football match to 10 different countries you can have 10 different adverts for 10 different companies on that same board depending on where people are watching from and that can increase the revenue by you know many times because instead of signing up one advertiser a global advertiser they can sign up more like local advertisers for each country so they can massively increase the revenue i think that's a really really great use of a fast network because it has to render it in real time and also something else that's cool for sports fans, and this example uses football, is that these stadiums are going to have like many cameras around the stadium. So when you're watching that game on your television, you'll be able to have like a little controller. You could be able to view the pitch from any angle you want to. But I think that, that's really cool. I mean, it, this stuff's all coming down the pipeline because of this you know, um, optical networks because the, the bandwidth is almost unlimited through them compared to sort of traditional sort of networks where the bandwidth was very limited. I'm going to show you now how an optical transport network enhances the services that a hospital can offer. Um, now, if you look at a traditional scenario, you may go to a hospital, you get an MRI scan, you would print that scan out, you would have to then take it to the doctor, he would look at it. But with an OTN solution, um, that scan can be scanned, the image will be uploaded to the cloud, and then a doctor can go to a um, Huawei uh, idea board like this and have a, a very, very high quality image which is manipulated 3D in almost real time. And examine your results and give you a diagnosis. And this is possible because of the OTN. Whereas if you take a traditional network, the bandwidth is much lower, so the connection is slower. So it's very sort of jerky, it's not in real time. It's, it's really a, a quite a poor experience if you compare it back to this one here. This is, you know, super smooth because you've got the high bandwidth of the optical transport network. Not only do Huawei have solutions for large corporates as well as normal consumers to get faster broadband into their organizations or their homes, they also have a solution for small micro enterprises. So if you look at the example of, say, a small office that might have 40 or 50 people and there may be you know, 10 or 15% of those people on a Zoom call. If their connectivity is not that good on a traditional Wi-Fi or a traditional network, they will get dropouts and freeze frames in their Zoom calls. But employing a fiber to the room business solution here will cut that and you will get no freeze frames or dropouts within your Zoom calls. So this kind of solution is much, much better for small and micro enterprises. So there's a lot of people who don't just like white boxes all around their house. So what we have really thought about this and instead of doing it in just white, they do it in a number of colors. You've got a white, you've got a beige, a black, a gray, and they also do it in a pink. And I think that's a really good idea because it's like, you know, you can actually sort of blend it in with the, the sort of decor of your house so then it's not going to stick out like a sore thumb. And you can bang it on the wall like that which yeah. is nice, as yeah. opposed to just having it a big one of these on the tables. Am I right in saying that this one is the master this one? This is the master, yeah, and then yeah. you have one of these in, in the different rooms, basically. And 
you, you connect this master to these other ones in the rooms via a cable. So you need cable. to have cables all running around your house? You do, but it ain't like cables used to be. So cables used to be fairly thick and ugly. This is almost invisible. So they use this, this fiber cable, and this is actually very strong. It can actually um, hold 10 kilograms. And basically you glue it with a, a special tool around your wherever you skirting need. board. Skirting boards. And when it's applied, you almost can't see it because it's pretty transparent. But it, it basically gives you sort of much, much faster speeds than your standard wife, and it's much more stable and reliable. So to give you an idea, you're gonna get in excess of 2000 megabits per second. Now, I don't know about you, but on my Wi-Fi, I'm getting nowhere near that. Um, my typical get... range is probably between like 30 and 50, right, for yeah, most homes. Yeah. So say so upwards of 2000 megabits per second, you're gonna get a, a, a roaming. So this means when you go from sort of one area to another, so sometimes with the old Wi-Fi, you notice some sort of degradation in the, the signal. Well, you're not gonna get that because it, it'll jump from one to another at 20 milliseconds. 20 milliseconds is so little, you're not even gonna notice. And it can also um, handle 128 simultaneous connections. Now, that's really important nowadays. I mean, 128 is massive. You'd have to have a big family to use 128 connections. However, think of a, a family of five, you, you might all have a phone, maybe more than one. You've got computers, you've got video games, you've got tablets, and then you have like IoT devices, like now some, um, you know, household appliances connect to the internet. So it's, you can easily see how you can use up a lot of connections to the internet. And that means using a lot more data so you need bigger bandwidth and that's where this comes in there'd be no excuse uploading more youtube videos with that speed would there no that's right yeah i remember when i was uploading videos when i was doing gaming videos when i was younger and i would have to set them to upload before i went to bed and maybe they wouldn't even be done by the time i woke up and sometimes it had failed and i'd have to do the whole thing again and with those kinds of speeds it'd probably take like 10 seconds, 20 seconds maybe, to, um, upload, to yeah. upload an entire video. So quite the difference from when I was about 13 years old. <laughs> so there you go, that shows you that, that how Huawei are working to provide much faster connectivity on an optical basis using fiber instead of copper to larger corporations, small micro enterprises, as well as end consumers. And uh, this, is, this is the future of um, communications, really. Anyway, if you did like that video, give it a thumbs up. If you do like the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. But from MWC here in Barcelona, as always, take care.